What's up everyone? What's up everyone? Frank here with Little Al. And today I'm going to show you how to get the seller ID and seller token so you can uh, complete the uh, onboarding of the new software. Uh, so a little background for these. Uh, these are two key informations that we need to create listings and create shipments on your account. Of course, uh, we'll still need uh, uh, managed shipments from the normal permissions that we give, but this will allow the software to also add and do automatic things to make um, receiving and shipping a little faster for us and to keep, uh, to keep everything um, on track. So what you're going to do is you're going to, at the top right of your Amazon Seller Central account, to Settings. You're going to scroll down here to user permissions. You're going to click on user permissions. Wait for it to load. You can see a <laughs> current user, yours truly. Uh, but you're going to scroll down to third-party developers and apps. You're going to visit manage your apps. And then you're going to see all the uh, developer names and all that good stuff. You're going to authorize developer. And this is where you authorize developer. So you're going to type in our name and developer ID, which is 304-259-403125. Uh, this is going to be posted in the Little Al Prep group for right now. Um, I will probably add uh, a tab with this uh, information, but take a look here. Uh, this is what you're exa you exactly want to put in. Uh, but this information will be available in our little L prep group. So click next. And then it's going to say authorize new developer. Click next to confirm you understand this. It's basically telling us that um, you're going to give us access to creating listings and creating shipments via your MWS codes, your seller ID and your seller token. You're going to click understand and then you're going to go click next uh, and then it will give you two codes. It will give you your seller ID and your MWS token. That's what it's going to be called. Uh, so you'll want to copy both and then watch the next video on where to stick those in the software. It's a very vital that you get this data onto your um, account in the software. That way we can do the listings for you. That way we can create the shipments. And that way the software can function correctly. Uh, like I said before, this is not a... Um, currently, this is not a, um, a replacement for user permissions. We'll still need managed shipments to actually finish off and print the labels. Um, but eventually it will. Not right now. But eventually it will. This is just an overview because I know a lot of people may not have done this in the future. And a little demo um, is, is, is sometimes necessary. Of course, I can't show you uh, click next because then it gives um, my personal account information of those um, keys, which I don't want to I don't want to give out to the public. Uh, but what you need is your seller ID and your MWS token. That's what it's going to be called. When you click next, it's going to show it to you. And this, um, those two things will allow anyone to connect um, to your account via MWS. So just be careful about who you give those codes out to. Um, for us, it's fine. We're really just going to use it for listing and shipping. We can't see any information, any bank information. It's literally like user permissions. Um, this just gives us the opportunity to list via your account and create shipments. Just not finish the shipments yet. Still an alpha, guys. But that's my explanation. Anyway, this is Frank Little Al. I'll see you in the next tutorial.